everyone welcome to smart math online tutor through this video i'm going to tell you how to round off numbers representing the value of the number by a value which is close to it simple easy to remember and easy to communicate is called rounding off a number remember rounding off a number is always done with respect to a place that place may be the units place tens place, hundreds or even thousands. Rounding off is done in different ways. Let's look into them now. Rounding off to nearest 10. When a question is given, what you should do is check the digit in the units place. And remember, the answer must be the nearest multiple of 10. Let's look into some examples. Let's see how to round off 2436 to the nearest 10. Remember, when we round off any number to the nearest 10, we should pay our attention to the digit in the units place. In this case, it is 6. If this digit is equal to or greater than 5, we add 1 to the next digit and put a 0 instead of this digit. In this case, 6 is greater than 5. Therefore, we add 1 to 3. And instead of 6, we put a 0. Then our answer becomes 2440. Now look at this number, 145. Again, we are going to convert 145 to the nearest 10. So, we pay our attention to the digit in the units place and that is 5. Since it is equal to 5, we add 1 to the next digit. And instead of 5, we put a 0. Then, our answer becomes 150. Look here, in this example, 432, the digit in the units place is 2. Since it is less than 5, we cancel it off and put a 0 instead. Then our answer becomes 430. Moving on to rounding off to the nearest hundreds. There, check the digit in the tens place. And remember, the answer must be the nearest multiple of 100. Look these examples. Now, let me tell you how to round off 6425 to the nearest 100. Remember, when we round off a number to the nearest 100, the place we should pay our attention is the tens place. In this case, it is 2. But 2 is less than 5. Therefore, 2 and the digits after 2 are cancelled and instead we put zeros. Then the answer becomes 6400. Look here, 3772 must be rounded off to the nearest 100. The digit in the tens place in this case is 7. Since 7 is greater than 5, we add 1 to the digit after 7. And the digits 7 and 2 will be cancelled and instead we put zeros. Then our answer becomes 3800. Then let's see how to round off to the nearest thousand. There, you have to check the digit in the hundreds place and remember the answer must be the nearest multiple of thousand. See here to understand further. Now let's pay our attention to round off 8531 to the nearest thousand. Remember, when we round off any number to the nearest thousand, the place we pay our attention is the hundreds place. So here, the digit in the hundreds place is 5. Since the digit is equal to 5, 
we add 1 to the digit after 5. That is, we add 1 to 8. And the digits 5, 3 and 1 will be cancelled and instead we put zeros. Therefore, our answer becomes 9000. Moving on to another example. 7289 to be rounded off to the nearest thousand. Here, the digit in the hundreds place is 2. Since 2 is less than 5, we consider the digits 2, 8 and 9 to be 0 in the answer. Then, our answer becomes 7000. Decimal numbers also can be rounded off. Let's see how to do that. First, rounding off a decimal number to the nearest whole number. What you should do is check the digit in the first decimal place and remember the answer must be the nearest whole number. Look at this example. 561.35 is to be rounded off to the nearest whole number. So, let's pay our attention to the digit at the first decimal place that is 3 in this case we know 3 is less than 5 therefore we neglect the two digits and instead we put zeros then our answer becomes 561 now look here 28.95 is to be rounded off to the nearest whole number. In this case, the digit at the first decimal place is 9. Since 9 is greater than 5, we add 1 to the digit in the unit's place. That is, we add 1 to 8. And replace the digits after the decimal points to be 0. So, our answer becomes 20. 9. There can be questions requesting for you to round off to a given decimal place too. Look, Look at, at this at example. example. 62.3591 is, is to be rounded, rounded off to the nearest, nearest second decimal, decimal place. place. So, so here, here we, must we must pay, pay our, our attention, attention to the to digit, digit at the, at the third, third decimal place. place. That is, that is 9, 9 in this, in this case. case. Since, Since 9, 9 is greater than 5, than we, we add, add 1 to the to digit in the second decimal place. place. That, that is, is, we add, we add 1, 1 to 5. To 5. And, and the, the digits, digits after, after the second, second decimal, decimal place, place can be simply, simply neglected. neglected. Then, then our answer, our answer becomes, becomes 62.36. Look, Look at this, at this example. example. 921.523 is to be rounded off to the nearest first decimal place. So, we consider the digit in the second decimal place. That is 2 in this case. Since 2 is less than 5, we neglect the digits after the first decimal place. That is, we neglect 2 and 3. Then our answer becomes 921.5. Let's have a look into the simple steps to round off any given number to a nearest value given. First, observe the numbers carefully and identify the places. Then, look into the digit just before the place value given in the question. That is, if they ask you to round off a number to the nearest thousand, then you have to look into the digit in the hundreds place and so on. And the next step is, if the digit is equal to or greater than 5, add 1 to the digit next to it and put zeros instead of the digits remaining. If the digit you look into is less than 5, Put 0 instead of it and all the digits after it. And that's all. You have rounded off. Hope I made myself clear with the rounding off numbers. See you with another smart math tip. Until then, goodbye.